How's everybody doing today? Well, I just got in a chair from Razor. It's the Iscure Is Is Cure gaming chair. Anyways, um, from the looks of it, it came in a box big enough to put a small house in. Took two people to carry it into the house. It weighs, it must be close to 100 pounds, so obviously it's very well made. I'm hoping it's everything they made it out to be. So what I'm going to do is just a short video of each step putting it together. And then probably me falling asleep in it. But we'll get on with it. Alright, so here we go. Don't want to knock the video cards over. We do a spin. Now, normally these come with like some type of um, tools, whether it's Allen wrenches or something. What do we got here? Two player call. What? Okay. It's supposed to come with a um, a Razor Viper Ultimate. 2077 special edition limited edition whatever cyberpunk 20 2077 gaming mouse it's yellow and black i'm hoping it's in here they said it came with it. all right this is obviously oh cool um wow okay not much for words but i don't think you need it, it yes it comes with a toolkit it looks like it's just pretty much all allen key okay nice piece of foam Throw that over there. FedEx, I just want to thank you for being zipper heads and doing what you always did is leave a box that cost a lot of money sitting on the front porch 10 feet away from a sidewalk in a city where people just have no problem stealing anything, everything. But fortunately, I caught the guy on his way up. Well, he got in the truck and I yelled for him and the sucker just kept going. He just looked at me. He was on his way out. So I'm going to call their office and let them know about it. So here we have is the back. Okay, this is the seat. Mm, ooh, no wonder they freaking, this thing was so heavy. Holy shit. And an accessories box here. Uh, just some directions for the handles and the knobs for tightening. All right, I am pretty bummed out that there's not a, a mouse. So I am really hoping they're sending that mouse separately. All right, this shouldn't take long at all. Three days later. Oh, everything, everything so far is quality. Wow, this thing's like twice as thick, twice as thick as my GT racer or whatever they call that one that was really starting to bother my back. That was a, did serve its purpose for, what was it, 85 or 90 dollars or whatever I bought it for a few years ago. So I'll have an extra one. <coughs> I have to say that the quality on this is outstanding. The stitching, just the feel of the pleather, artificial leather obviously. Damn. All right, it's either very heavy or I'm getting very old, which that is very likely. All right. I have to say, Razor, you don't joke around when it comes to wrapping stuff up. Not a bad thing. They move in and out. Another one for up and down. And there's another one for twisting it. Is it this one? Or this one? Oh, right here. So you have one, two, three movements on the armrest as well as going up and down it right there I, I nice someday 
I'm hoping to be able to I would love to be able to get, get an affiliate become an affiliate with uh, with Razor that would be awesome do I have to put the it's showing putting the back on now I wish I could put the bottom on it first but it says do it after the back is on flip it upside down and position okay that's why they do it okay this side is, is free obviously I think this one this is the locking side all right I am really really wondering and hoping that the mouse comes I know you're probably saying a word about the damn mouse yes I am I really wanted that mouse to be able to give it do a giveaway with it hoping I get that all right well nice lined right up and I can feel there's a metal shaft in there just grabbed right onto it it's it's long so it's well it's well made there as well wow they ain't joking man okay so that goes right here another thing I've noticed about this chair that I think is worth talking about is on the bottom of the arms here the L bracket it is incredibly thick and it is like solid it's either chromed or polished aluminum it looks more like it's a metal and it has elongated holes so you can move your arms in the armrest in closer together my other chair literally you couldn't the things were overlapping I had to take the arms off and take them to my shop and I had to cut off a small piece of the ends of the L bracket over here on that goes to the bottom of the chair in order to move the arms in so my arms weren't way out like Okay. Obviously, this back's got to go back a little bit. Honestly, they did. They did ninety percent of the work. So, in total, I've been working on this chair probably around. 35 40 minutes by the time I'm done clipping this video you're probably going to get about maybe eight or ten minutes tops of a video to watch There's the piece that goes in here oh yep I would have to say so is that all there is to it you pop it in are you serious come on Yep, and the knob, this is what controls the piston. No kidding, pretty cool. Okay. Okay, it comes with a little headrest if you're going to use it, which I'm probably not going to, but I think I prefer looking at Okay, so the only thing is how this piece works. And that's the lumbar support. So I am. All right, folks. 
the lumbar support is actually pretty much exactly where I want it. Yeah, the headrest, not something I would probably use, but it's made of kind of like a, probably a fake velvet type feeling. It's very, very smooth um, with the razor, the razor wording on it, not the gaming logo. I think I prefer to have the gaming logo. Um, I can move these up and down with no problem and I want them to come in closer. I don't think I'd have a need for this unless, no, not even gaming, maybe typing up close, but I think I'd probably prefer to have them straight. Not that far out. Right there, right there. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps people out. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a like, sub, a thumbs up, a kick in the ass, whatever you prefer. It's up to you. Um, but actually, it was very easy to put together. It is a pricey chair. You're going to pay for the quality, but in life, you always get what you pay for. And this is something I think that's going to last me years to come completely one of the best chairs I've probably ever owned to this day. The nicest. I, I just can't say enough about it. So on that note, I'm going to let everybody go. It's Saturday. I'm going to get a hold of my buddy, play some games. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.